Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video we see how to use the offset function to create a chart in Excel that shows the last 12 months return and updates automatically every time you add new data. Uh, if you haven't watched it already, have please a look at part one in which I explain in details what the offset function does and how it's used together with the name manager to create a dynamic range. Now what we want to do is to add a graph to show what my last 12 months return have been. And to do so, we need to add a dynamic range for the dates as well, because the dates are those that are plot on my X axis. And to set up a chart, I do need a Y series and an X series. So let's see how this is done. In the formulas tab, click on name manager and then new. This time as name, let's put 12 underscore months, uh, no comments needed. And at the bottom where it says refer to, we're going to use again the offset function. In this case, I want the origin to be uh, the cell A1. That is my starting point. Then I want to travel as many rows down as I need to. That's why I'm putting the count function that's going to count how many rows with data I have in this range. How many columns? Well, zero columns because I want to stay in column A and then height and width of this range. I'm going to select minus 12 and one because I want to take the last 12 months and minus allows me to travel north and the width is just going to be one because I'm interested in one column only. As always, after you click OK, if you click on the formula, you can see what your dynamic range is referring to. So th this is the ultimate uh, check that uh, this dynamic range will actually reference the last 12 dates in your column A. Once this is done, we have all the data that we need to set up a graph. But before we do so, it might be useful to paste somewhere in our uh, spreadsheet what um, the names of the ranges exactly are because sometimes we need to use them in formulas or we need to use them when we are referencing the data in building the graph so it's just handy to have them there in order to paste them go uh, again to the formulas tab uh, and uh, near the name manager click on use in formulas at the bottom of the drop down menu you see paste names click on that and then after this window is open, in the bottom left, click on Paste All. That will paste the names that refer to the only two dynamic ranges that we have built so far and with the respective formulas, with the respective offset function. Now, in order to insert a chart, let's go to the top left and click on Insert and then select the 2D column. After you have inserted the chart, which is now empty because we haven't selected the data yet, you will be automatically into the design tab. So then click on select data, which is in the top right. And in the window, we will add the two series, one for the X axis and one for the actual data that we are displaying, which is the monthly returns. So let's click on add on the left. In this window, we have to specify the name of the series. Just put one year returns for simplicity. It will also show up at the top of your chart. And then we have to specify the values. The syntax here is to first write the complete name of your uh, spreadsheet. In my case, this is called factsheet.xlsx. Uh, then insert an exclamation point. And then write the name of your range as you have saved it before in this example is one underscore re year underscore return it is a bit fiddly this process that we have to remember to first put the name of the spreadsheet uh, with the extension dot xlsx and the exclamation mark but believe me it does pay off because this is the very first and last time that we ever gonna do this click OK. And you can see that he, uh, the, the histograms, the bars already show in our chart. The last thing to do is to add the dates 
because um, well it just uh, doesn't make sense to have these uh, numbers on the x-axis that don't mean anything those are actually monthly returns so let's add them in in this window where it says horizontal axis click on edit and when it asks for the label range same as before remember to input first the name of the spreadsheet in my case is factsheet.xlsx then an exclamation mark and then the name of your dynamic range and now our chart is complete we just have to test our dynamic range to to make sure that they actually update on their own so let's go at the end of our data and let's input the monthly returns for last July which happened to be minus 90 basis points and you can see that the chart has updated and also our formula that was in cell E2 so as you can see this was the whole uh, purpose just to spend a bit more time in setting up the spreadsheet the chart and the formulas but now we don't ever have to touch them again we just need to worry about inputting in new data at the end of the series if you're interested in how to set up a range that covers the returns for the last three years or 36 months I will leave that into the information box so you can um, take it for your uh, for your own spreadsheet thank you very much for watching I hope this was useful and I'll see you soon bye